Okay, Billy, standing here at Adams Park after the defeat to Wasps. Can you pinpoint where that game was won and lost this evening? Oh, I think, you know, 1 to 15, we probably didn't turn up in the first half and play the sort of rugby to, you know, win a quarter final. I think we probably let ourselves down there. We didn't play as much rugby as we should have done. And, you know, we had a bit of a mountain to climb in the second half and we, you know, you know, clawed it back a little bit, but, you know, discipline let us down a little bit. So, um, you know, boys are bitterly disappointed, but, you know, we'll look our wins and we'll move on. You talk about that discipline. It seemed there was no clear penalties to be given, but there was sort of 50 50 calls. Do you feel that Gloucester were perhaps on the wrong side of them? Yeah, I think, yeah, we could have been, but I think you've you got to play the referee in the situation and we've got to be smart as rugby players out on the field. We can't we can't be giving away needless penalties in our own half and you have a quality kick like Andy Goody, you'll slot them over. So, um, you know, we've got to be smarter as a group and, you know, in these close games, especially in knockout rugby, you've got to be better and, um, you know, that's the disappointing thing that we're playing some good rugby, but, you know, the discipline probably let us down and our first half performance wasn't good enough. To take the whole picture and it was a disappointing defeat, but Gloucester really gave it one hell of a go in that second half. Yeah, we did. I mean, we would always, you know, give it an absolute all, and the boys put always in 100% effort, and you know, you can never doubt that. And all the subs came on and did very well as well. So, um, you know, that's the disappointing thing that we probably didn't leave it out there in the first half and the play the rugby that we know. And um, you know, from a from a personal point of view, that's the most disappointing thing. And you know, that's why the boys are gutted in the change rooms now that you know we could have had a you know a home semi final in Europe and. You know, it's, it's annoying and you know, we let ourselves down and we let the fans down who came down to support us. But like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it and we'll look at the positives from the second half and a you know, massive game next week, a derby game against Bath. And obviously there's another chance to, to sort of get any revenge we can against Bath. So we've, we've worked them out this evening and they know what we're about, but we can really impose our game on them in a fortnight's time. Exactly. You know, you know, that'll be a different occasion and different perspective. And they will, they will have no grudges there, so it's a different game and you have to read the situations on the day and... You know, we have to make better decisions on the rugby pitch as professionals and you know, that's the bit that's letting us down at the moment. You know, we're playing some good rugbys and we're smart and you know, we're, we're threatening and we're, you know, we're scoring tries. So you know, it's, it's disappointing but you know, you know, that's why we're rugby players and we love playing the game and we'll go on Monday, work hard and put it to bed and come back stronger. And as skipper, you must be proud of the way that the Gloucester support came to Wickham this evening on Sunday night and uh, really made a right racket. It's quite a unique thing for Gloucester fans to, to do as opposed to other clubs. Yeah, it's massive and you know, it's... We, you know, players we don't underestimate. It's huge to, to to run out onto the field and have the you know, the, you know cherry and white fans out here and you know calling us and uh, cheering us on. It's massive, especially on a Sunday night. I know it's difficult, but you know we fully appreciate that. And it's just uh, disappointing that we let them down. And we, uh, you know, like I said, we'll lick our wounds and we'll work hard on the weekend. You know, massive massive week ahead before Bath come up our way.